Our stretch of warm weather just about to end for a little while, but it's going to go out with a bang tomorrow with warm temperatures on the way. 82 right now. Beautiful view uh, from the Lake Club tonight. A good evening to be outside, maybe enjoying a little golf out there or anything you want to do. If you haven't cut your grass, you may want to try to get that underway too. We do have rain back in the forecast as we go into uh, tomorrow night and Saturday especially. Look at the temperature trend. 88 tomorrow and then the rest of the weekend and next week. Yeah, it cools on down thanks to a cold front that's going to move through here at tomorrow night, bringing showers and thunderstorms with it. 80 in Newton Falls right now. That's one of the cool spots around. 86 in Columbiana getting ready for the fair underway there. Uh, the street fair going on. A beautiful evening, by the way. If you are heading out to the street fair, it's going to be a little warm. But other than that, you don't need to worry about raindrops tonight. That's for sure. Doppler radar is quiet. It stays like that all evening and all night and even most of tomorrow. By tomorrow night, that's when things start getting tricky for us, tracking the storm system that's out across Minnesota and uh, Wisconsin, and it's moving our direction. Going to start throwing some showers and thunderstorms our way by as early as tomorrow evening, but a better chance tomorrow night. Let's go hour by hour, starting this evening, heading down to Columbiana, looking great. Temperatures in the mid to low 80s. Overnight, mainly clear skies expected right into early tomorrow morning as you wake up with Rich Morgan. Although a little patchy fog will be possible, temperatures are not going too far down tonight, only in the middle 60s by the time you head out early tomorrow morning. Through the day tomorrow, the clouds will start increasing, and so will the humidity, and so will the temperature into the upper 80s by late afternoon. And with that, the risk for an isolated shower or thunderstorm, especially toward tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. Watch what happens on Future Tracker as we go to the start of those football games tomorrow evening. Still a small risk for an isolated shower or thunderstorm at kickoff time. A better chance is the game's end. That's when the cold front will be moving on through, and that's going to bring showers and thunderstorms our way Friday night into Saturday morning. And then just in time for the YSU kickoff on Saturday, the showers and thunderstorms will be ending and that cooler air will continue to settle on in. YSU kick off at 4 o'clock. Here's a look at 2 o'clock uh, by late in the afternoon. Conditions starting to dry out for us. So in between the start of uh, Friday night football till that YSU game, that's our best chance uh, for showers and thunderstorms. Your forecast for tonight, 64. A little patchy fog possible. Other than that, just mostly clear skies tomorrow morning. Heading on out to that bus stop uh, off to school for your Friday. A very warm start, 66 degrees, and temperatures will continue to climb through the day tomorrow all the way up to 88 by the afternoon. Some spots, especially those car thermometers, will be close to 90 degrees. Kick off tomorrow night for Friday night football. Yeah, warm and humid. Just a small chance for a shower or a thunderstorm. A much better chance late in the game and then on your drive home and into Friday night and Saturday, heading out to the YSU game. You may want to bring a jacket with you. It's going to cool off through the afternoon, dropping into the 60s, but the best risk for showers and thunderstorms Saturday will be through the midday hours and then tapering off into the afternoon. The rest of the weekend looks very nice. Saturday night, a little cool, 49, 72 on Sunday with more sunshine. Dry to end the weekend and dry to start next week. But showers and thunderstorms return late Tuesday, continue into Wednesday, and staying unsettled right into Thursday.